the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. All right, it is Wednesday. Skies are mostly clear overhead here in Oklahoma City. It's a beautiful start on our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network. Oh, we got the birds flying as well. It's just gorgeous. It feels very much like spring across the state. Temperatures are in the mid 50s, the low 60s already at or above our typical afternoon high for this time of year. And it's 945 in the morning. So you have kiddos at school right now. Man, they're practiced later this afternoon. It'll be in the 80s with a gusty southwest wind. At times could have some gusts 15 to 30 miles per hour above average feeling more like May little cloud cover streaming into the north we will have a chance for some of those high thin clouds making their way across the Oklahoma City area but a lot of sun also like on our next gen live there's a million watts of power right now nothing going on you will have a chance for a few thunderstorms next gen live will be picking up on that tonight into tomorrow morning mainly in far northern and northeastern oklahoma it's 54 degrees south winds right now are about 10 miles per hour it's 62 in guthrie 62 in chandler 60 in norman 65 degrees in El Reno. Winds are anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour out of the southwest. Just had a 20 mile per hour gust in Piedmont, a 21 mile per hour gust in Shawnee, and that's going to get stronger. We have 50s, 60s, and a couple 70s. Cheyenne already 72 versus 46 in Medford. We're all warming up today, but there's a little cloud cover up north, which is going to keep the temperatures down some. Winds will be the strongest along into the southeast of I-44, where we're already getting some gusts over 20. Not to say we can't have a few wind gusts 20 to 30 for the rest of the area. Upper 70s and low 80s. That's where we're headed. Our average high is 55 today, close to records. The record is 82. Now we had a couple 80s yesterday in southern Oklahoma. A lot more 80s expected today, which will feel warm to hot at times. And then temperatures slowly start to taper off into the evening hours. And there is a cold front on the way. But while we're at peak heating, I want to show you the winds. So winds are picking up 10, 20, every now and again, a gust to 25 or 30. And keep in mind, that's the gust. The sustained winds will not be that strong. But when you get a southwest wind pulling in low humidity, the fire danger starts to go up. And when I talk low humidity, I'm saying five to 10% in our far western counties, dormant vegetation. And I know we've had a lot of rain, but with the vegetation still dormant, that is fuel for fires. So be careful today. Humidity about 25% in OKC. Ridge has been building in, and that's what's keeping those temperatures above average. We get a little bit of a dip as this low moves across to our north. It's a weak front. We're still very nice. Friday, mid upper 60s, then 70s, back into your weekend, Saturday and Sunday. We've been talking about it all week, starting last week, about how the upcoming weekend is going to be one of the nicest weekends we have had in months across Oklahoma. Then, as we get into the work week, Monday is pretty warm to hot. Again, may see some 80s before thunderstorm chances go up Tuesday ahead of our next storm. Now it's a cold one. Front moves in Tuesday night into Wednesday, but watch how it moves in and moves out. We cool it off Wednesday highs in the 40s and then we're warming right back up above average. So tonight's wind shift is a cold front. It's just not very cold. 40s and 50s. We'll see 45 in Enid, 48 in Stillwater, 50s in southern and southeastern Oklahoma. There's your chance for a few storms. I do think north of Tulsa, the chance of storms is higher, and a few of those may produce a little wind and hail early tomorrow morning. The rest of the state dry. North wind tomorrow, 60s and a few 70s. And here is your Friday. Mostly sunny skies. Absolutely beautiful. A north wind, low humidity, looking good. If you have plans Friday, or maybe you don't, head to the Thunder game. We're so excited. David and I will be there. We'll be there starting at 6 p.m. around Section 116 in the concourse just to meet folks. We love the Thunder fans. 70 on Saturday, 75 on Sunday, upper 70s Monday. Then the cold front moves in Tuesday. Still warm Tuesday. Th storm chances do go up late, and we're looking to climb above average by Thursday. And guys, that is leap day. Back to you.